pinstriping or glazing adds a unique look to an otherwise boring and bland uh, doors or trim or anything else that's structurally uh, beautiful. Here is an example of a regular uh, crown molding that was purchased um, and painted. Now if you, if you see all that pinstriping and then just imagine it without it. So here's a regular door that's about to be pinstriped. It's a regular shaker door. See how bland and boring it is. This is what I use to apply it. It's, a, uh, it's an applicator to from purchased from a uh, hair salon for hair coloring. Uh, you just put some industrial grade waterborne glaze that I purchased from Cheryl Williams and um, it makes, makes it really easy to apply it. It can be wiped off with uh, just a dab of water and a, a wet towel. Here are some doors that were already glazed. You can see that it adds a certain detail that would otherwise be kind of ignored. It adds some depth to a door. So here's how I apply it. I take this applicator. You don't have to squeeze real hard. Just put it right in the corner. And you want to be right just like that. And then for me to make it a little bit easier, because I'm doing it one-handed right now, I turn it over, I'm right-handed, and then I run another bead just like that. And that's it. All it takes is about half an hour for this stuff to dry, and then you apply one more coat of clear coat, and that will seal this right up. Thanks for watching.